Follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Don't forget, Have Faith, Let It Begin is brought to you in part by Spreaker. It's a great app. Also, iHeartRadio and every single other platform, such as Spotify, iTunes, and even YouTube channel. Folks, I hope you're enjoying Have Faith, Let It Begin, because it starts right now. Have Faith, Let It Begin, when it starts right now. Welcome to Have Faith. Let it begin. Here's your host, Angel Santana. Hey, Ariel, can you say have faith? Let it begin. Let it begin? Let it begin. Say have faith. Let it begin. Let it begin. No, no. No? No? Okay. It's a boy. Hi, Noah. Noah! Oh, Noah. <laughs> Noah. Oh, Jesus. Happy birthday, Noah. Okay, oh, oh, amazing. <laughs> Good morning. You're listening to Half Faith Lab again, and it starts right now. How is that, Daddy? It was good. Good morning, everyone, and welcome to the Thursday edition of Half Faith Let It Begin. Today is September 21st, 2023. Welcoming all new viewers from TikTok. I want to thank you for coming in and listening to us. I uh, hope you're having a beautiful morning. Well, today's topic is quite simple. There is no topic. It's right from the heart. I woke up this morning exhausted uh, because Noah wasn't feeling too well. Had the sniffles, a little bit of the cough, you know, change of season. It's starting to happen. And, uh, you know, we were able to relax him and calm him down and finally get him back to sleep. But definitely lost some sleep last night. And it got me thinking as I was sitting there with my son and just waiting for him to kind of fall back asleep. How often we have fallen asleep or attempted to fall asleep uh, but thinking about uh, things that are going on in our lives. In other words, when you go to bed, we all would like to just go to bed not knowing or not thinking about um, how tomorrow is going to be or how today was. Um, wouldn't it be nice to just put your head on the pillow, forget about all your troubles, forget about all your, your worries and just get a good night's sleep. You know, it's very easy to say and so hard to do, right? You know, One of the things that I try and strive to is to to smile, to laugh before I go to bed. Because my feeling is if I go to bed that way, I usually wake up that way. Many of us have so much stuff on our plate, so many things that are going on that we just can't figure out where to put it, where to compartmentalize it, and just try to figure out what's best uh, for us, especially internally. In our hearts, we're filled with so many different things. Sometimes we've got anger. Sometimes we've got frustration. Sometimes we've got love. And of course, other times we've got sorrow. And we wonder, where do we put all that, right? Where do we actually put everything that's happening at that very moment? Well, sometimes the best thing to do is to pray. So sit down and just pray to God and say, look, my day is over. My night is beginning. And I really could choose some peace of mind. I'm leaving this right now at your feet. Because I believe and know that you will help me through this. And sometimes I've had to do it. I'm not saying that every night I go to bed laughing and smiling. But I would say the majority of the time I I make it that way. I, I get to that point. I learn to just put things away and put it aside. And try my very best to think what's positive in my life. So this morning, as you wake up, if you had a really tough night like I did, and you're about to get a nice gigantic coffee, I know I will, with an old-fashioned donut, by the way, but that's different, Um, you just know that God is with us, and God is here to protect us. You know, each and every day is not promised. Tomorrow is is not guaranteed. But what is guaranteed right now is that we are listening and getting ready to start our day. So may God be with you today as you go about your daily work, as you go about your day off maybe, or maybe if you're on vacation, you're listening to Half Faith, let it begin. Thank you, by the way. May all of you continue to remember that God has never left us. He's with us through thick and thin. And we all have that armor of God. We all can believe and trust that He will see us to the path of righteousness. May God be with you. May he shine his light upon you. 
and grant each and every single one of you peace on earth. And before we go, we're going to continue to pray for Clinton, 15-year-old boy that received his heart transplant. He continues to get stronger each day. We pray for Maria and her safe return back to work. We pray for this two-year-old little boy that's dealing with chemo. We pray that he's at the stage right now where the type of chemo is where he starts to lose his hair. And we are hoping that he continues to battle strong and to have that strength and allow God to be there with him as he overcomes this difficult obstacle. And of course, the parents that are dealing with it as well and the family. And that's my prayers for this morning. I hope each and every one of you is bundled up because it is cold here in the Northeast. And I hope all of you have a blessed day. And never forget, have faith, let it begin. Thank you for listening to another episode of Have Faith, Let It Begin. That's right, Ariel. We're done with another show. And it's always great to have this show with you, my love. You know, we're going to encourage each and every person to listen to our show every single weekday. That's right. You and I are going to help change the world. Do you think that you can do that for me? Huh? Yeah, you know you can. She does. We want to let you know. and Yes, we encourage you to listen to our show each and every weekday. And it's going to be live at 730 Make sure you're subscribed to our show. Make sure you get ready. Fasten those seatbelts because Ariel and I and my family are going to bring you a new topic, a new story each and every day, right? Isn't that right, Ariel? Yeah. And we impress. <laughs> She's smiling at me. Guys, enjoy your day. <laughs>